We know Artest is an excellent defender, but Van Horn can score, and you can't foul an 80% foul shoot. There is O'Neal, and O'Neal guarded by Kenyon Martin, and that was a defensive change that Byron Scott had contemplated. Oh. Van Horn had guarded O'Neal early on the last time. Now, here is a fast go. break. This is their game to Martin. Yes, this is their game. Their forwards run well. Never mind their guards. Kittle's one of the fastest guys in the league from circle to circle. And then we know Jason Kidd will make the pass. He'll create the play. But their forwards in Martin and Van Horn really can slide. This is a tough matchup for him playing Jefferson, who is very quick off the dribble. There is the Martin, defended by O'Neal, back to Kidd. Kidd stepping back for three. And Martin is there, so they did not block out Kenyon Martin. And now the Nets again with a 10-point lead. Martin with 13 to go along with six boards. Right now, Isaiah's gone with offense by putting in Bender and Crozier. The problem is they're putting the pressure on Jermaine O'Neal to get every rebound. And underneath, Jason Kidd driving in. And a timeout call. Let's see. The Nets... Leading 68 to 58. We'll be right back. When you throw the ball to guys who are 6'11, 7 foot, you know that you give them a, a good read so that they're not shocked that the ball is on their way and it's below their knees. Bases have turned it over 19 times, and what a pass from Kidd. The bounce pass to the driving Martin, who has 15 tonight. That's a perfect example of what he's all about. He had to put that pass through a keyhole, but it was right on the money. That was a very strong move by Van Horn to the hall. Artest is so frustrated, he just went strong and, and made a hard foul over the top. Jason Kidd loses his shoe. He gets it back thanks to a helpful teammate. Here it is. There is your beautiful pass. In San Antonio after this break. So long, everybody.